Hi there, it's Jen and it is Friday, January 27th. I can't even believe that it's the end of January. Um, it doesn't hardly feel like it's been a month since Christmas, but it has. Anyways, I'm here live with you and I'm going to make a card. I just want to quickly um, do a draw. So what I do is when I make a card um, the week, the one week, then the next week I do a draw for that card. And how you get in on that draw is by commenting liking, sharing um, my video. So if you do that today, you'll get into the draw for next week. So let me just switch over to um, the screen here with the draw. So hold on one second. And if you're there, just let me know. And if you're watching the replay, just let me know. So hold on one sec. Here we go. And this is my um, draw here so I, everybody who commented like to share is in the draw and you know what I'm not sure if I'm showing the card that I'm drawing for but I'll show it in just a second so to win you have to be a um, Canadian and not a demonstrator so Beth I think that means you qualify Beth said watching on replay so glad to have it Okay, so let me just stop the share here for a second and go back to StreamYard. I see Rita and Jose have joined me. Hello, hello. And that looks like I am showing the card. So this is um, what I did last week. Um, this card right here. So using the beautiful celebration papers um, and then um, these cool dies, which I put on um, foam and made all the colors match. I just love the color scheme on that. So Beth, that is you. And that is from the January 20th draw. So I will get in touch with you and go from there. So let me um, just put this over here. Uh, so uh, I'm going to switch to my hands now. Everyone let me know how you're doing. How's the weather in your area? We are, have snow here, more snow. There's so much snow in Kingston, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so let's jump over to here. And today what I'm doing is um, I'm showing some really basic card making. So the reason this is important is because uh, if you're a brand new card maker, um, it's good to know how easy stamping is. And if you're an experienced card maker, sometimes you just need a really quick and easy card and uh, you don't have tons of time. Maybe you're walking out the door and you need a card. Um, so I just wanted to show you um, one of those. So what I'm gonna use here today is this, um, uh, well, I'm going to use a bunch of things, but I'm going to, and I'm going to show a really simple version versus um, a little bit more stepped up. So I'm using here the basic um, white note cards and envelopes, and I love these. They come in a package and there's 20 and they come, they're pre-scored. Can you see that score mark there? So you literally just have to take this and they're a little smaller than the normal cards I make, but this is a great way to start because you don't need a paper um, trimmer. You don't need anything really. So, and then um, a little note card a little envelope that goes with it matches perfectly okay so then what i'm going to use here is something that you can get free during celebration and i'm just going to show it to you i have it down here hold on a second here we go this is the little celebration booklet so this is the promotion that's on right now hello ruth i see you there too and um you can get uh, things out of here for free with a $60 order and some of them are $120 but every $60 increment between now and the end of February that you order you get to pick a freebie and so the one I'm going to show you is this Dainty Flowers. Just know that this is the most popular pick right now for celebration and here are the papers you can see I've cut into them a little bit already. So if you were starting out this would be a good pick along with you know a few other basics that I'm going to show you. Um, so this paper, it's double-sided, like all of Stampin' Up's paper, beautiful flowers, and you get two of each different design. So that's the second one there. There's a beautiful blue. Look at that. Ooh, purple flowers. Love it. Um, so there we go. And then there's the green one. I'm not sure. I think I showed you that already. Look at this background. Love it. All the dots. I have a feeling I've showed this already because I just love it. This one's really fun because you can actually cut these out individually and then stamp words in between. Um, there's a ma matching stamp set actually to this, which I don't have, um, but you can put any words in between there. Um, okay, and then this piece, which is the one we're going to work with. And then this one, I think that's all. So let me just put this down. 
And I'm gonna show you, there's a couple of pattern um, paper packages, that's hard to say, um, and uh, that are like this, that have this kind of border on here and border here, and they are perfect for making simple cards. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna make a few different cards, I'm gonna cut them at the size that I would for a regular card base. So I'm gonna pull my paper trimmer in here, and I'm gonna cut this at five and a half which would be the size of my regular card. It's gonna be a little big for my note card, but we'll trim it down. And then I'm gonna do the same, I'm just gonna turn this around on this side, five and a half. And I see Bella there too, hello Bella. Nice to have you join me. And don't throw away this little piece because there's paper, patterned paper on the other side. It's kind of white on this side. It's got a bit of texture to it, um, but, but it doesn't have texture. It looks like it has texture, but save that. It's good for little wee bits. Okay, so then I'm going to take these two, put them together, and because they're um, designer series paper and thin, I can cut a couple at once. So now I'm going to cut this at three inches. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. So if I cut this at three inches, I'm going to get four on each sheet, on each uh, piece. So a total of eight pieces. Okay, so I can make eight cards out of this, and that's only one sheet. There are two in the package, okay? So I'm gonna start with um, this one here because it's got the least amount of purples in it. So I'm gonna use that one up first and I'm gonna put it on my little note card. So if you're starting out, one of the things you will need is some double-sided tape. So this is our seal adhesive. It's double-sided, it just comes in this easy dispenser and just roll it on. And then I'm going to stick this on here. So I got a few different cards I'm going to show you, and at the end I actually have some alternate versions as well. So, so don't go away. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on there. I sound like a TV show. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of overhang here because this card's just a little smaller than my regular. So I'm just going to take my paper snips. These are Stampin' Up's little paper snip scissors. They're nice and sharp. They're very inexpensive. Twelve dollars, I believe. Um, another great basic addition that you would like to have with your. Um, stamping supplies. Now I could have actually used this piece right here. How clever would that have been? You know, I'm going to try, even though it's got a bit of sticky on it. Let me see if I can use that piece. I'm going to use um, an ink color. This um, paper has in it several colors, including the rich raspberry. So I'm going to grab that. And of course I need a stamp. So let me show you one of my very favorite um, stamp sets. It's called Go To Greetings. It is in the annual catalog and I'll actually pull out the annual catalog later and I'll show you where all these things are that I'm using. Um, what it is, is is one, two, three, four sayings, happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note and thank you. But there's three different um, sizes and font styles. So with this stamp set, you can do a whole lot. Um, so I'm gonna use the smallest version of the happy birthday. I'm gonna try and stamp on here. Now in my last newsletter, which if you're not a subscriber, I'll, I'll put a link up for you. Uh, one of the tips I gave was to use a line and to try and line up your stamps and to see. Now I tried to line that right on the line, didn't quite go. So let me just try again. Let me think of an imaginary line here. So I'm gonna use this line here, see if I can line that up on there. Now the good thing is this happy birthday is kind of wavy so it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so it looks pretty straight on the stamp. So now I'm going to attempt to stamp it on my little piece of paper here. Okay, that's pretty good I think. So I'm just going to, now with purple colors and red colors for some reason, let me see if I can get that up, they tend to smear. So be really careful um, when you're um, doing this. Just give it a few minutes to dry. It's already got tape on the back, so I'm just going to stick it down. My original one was using white paper, but I kind of like the fact that I just used that. Um, very simple. So that is the card. Super simple, super easy. Um, I have some stepped up versions and you've got the little envelope that already goes with it. So that's one. That's one card. Well, let's move on to the next one. For this one, I am going to, and I'm going to check out your comments in just a second. I've got a little piece of scrap of white. Um, Rita says, I can't wait to see, receive this paper and stamp the stamp set. Yeah, it's it's so pretty. Janice is there. Hello, Janice. And Joyce, hello, hello. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use the same, am I going to use the same one? Um, let me just look at my, yeah, I think I'm going to use the same one. Uh, Hold on, I got I got to look at my sample here. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna use the same one. I'm gonna stamp it again. 
Okay, and I'm going to give that a second to dry. And while I do, I'm going to take a piece of basic white. Now this was an eight and a half by 11 that I cut in half and that forms my card base. This is the most simple way and the most common way that we make our cards with Stampin' Up! stuff. Um, and it gives a nice little card front that's five and a half by four and a quarter, which means this um, paper here that I've got is going to fit perfectly on here. So I'm going to take this one up a notch by matching the paper. This is Rich Razzleberry. So that matches the Rich Razzleberry in here, which is one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! And I cut this just a little bit bigger than this paper. So it's actually a quarter of an inch bigger. So it's the same length, five and a half, and then three and a quarter. And this was three. So that quarter of an inch bigger will now give me a perfect one eighth of an inch on either side because the quarter divided by um, two is one eighth. Didn't know this was going to be math, did you? <laughs> um, but that is, that's the Stampin' Up! math is that quarter inch. Seriously, every, make all your layers um, quarter of an inch in size. By the way, if your tape does this, it's just because I've got some gummies down here and all you have to do is just flick it like this and you can get it moving again. Okay. And so I'm going to put this on here. This paper is stunning. So stunning. Okay, and then I'm going to stick it on here, same as we did with our other little card, and I will show you show them all to you at the end. You probably don't need as much tape as I'm using, but I'm a little tapeaholic, tapeaholic, and I'm going to stick this on here, eyeballing it to get it in the center. Okay, so already that is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to take my happy birthday, and I'm going to take a punch. Um, this is the Label Me Fancy Punch. And again, if you're starting out, a punch is a great option because you don't need any special equipment to use a punch. You just need the punch. I'm just going to trim this a little bit because it's not fitting in my punch. Let's hopefully see. And so you stick it in here through the top. Can you see that? And you look at it upside down so you can see to center it. Okay, and then you avoid this because that's the locking mechanism and just punch. And then when you want to store it, you actually close it, lock it, and now it's nice and flat and it can store like this. You can actually see what punch it is. This one actually has a slot and a hole punch in it as well, which is kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I have a little scrap of Rich Razzleberry. So I'm going to unlock the punch and I'm going to punch another piece. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for this because I don't have a matching mat for this thing. So I'm just going to fake it. I'm going to cut this in half with my paper snips and I'm going to put tape on the back of here and put a little, um, have a little bit of it showing on this end. I'll hold this up so you can see it better. And a little bit showing on this end. Okay, and now it looks like we have a little mat for that, okay? So this is going to go on here and now we're going to add one more thing and that is dimensionals. Um, Rita says it couldn't be more cute. Thanks so much. So look at these. These are double-sided foam strips. They're little hexagons and I'm just going to pull off a couple. Two is good for this little wee shape. Just peel off the backing and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this. So we got a lot of razzleberry here. I like the blue showing there. So I'm going to put this one off to the side a little bit. Okay. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now I always like to add a little bit of bling. And if you're gonna add any bling to your cards, this is what I would recommend. These right here, rhinestone basic jewels. The If you had to pick one thing, this would be the thing I would pick. Um, and you can, we have a tool. Of course, there's a tool for everything. Um, this is a tool that has a little bit of putty on the end and you can use that to pick up your rhinestone. But I'm going to pretend I'm brand new and I don't have that fancy tool. You could just use your scissors. This will totally work. And I'm going to just sort of karate chop them here. And I'll hold this up so you can see it in a second. But I'm going to grab a couple of these diamonds is what I like to call them. And I put them here on my card. And whoops, they're already got adhesive on the back of them. So they're already sticky. And that just gives that a little bit of extra bling. See that? And how beautiful is that card? And just a little bit stepped up from this simple version. But this simple version is very pretty too. It's the paper, right? Who's making this. And then of course the match point. Okay, so let's take it up one more notch. We'll leave out the rhinestones because I'll use them again. Um, so I've used that pattern. So let's go and use, let's use 
let's use this pattern here. Okay. Um, okay, so again, I'm going to get my card base. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my saying so that it has time to dry. And I have here something that I die cut. So I'm going to show you what that means. And I've got the next size up of the happy birthday. Not the biggest one in this stamp set, but the next one up. So it's beautiful. So this is the die set right here. It is called Something Fancy Dies, and it is in the mini catalog, which again, I'll show you at the end. I'll show you where all these things are. So it's got all these fun little shapes. Um, and I used this one and this one. So this one is the white. And somewhere here on my desk, I have another one. So this will actually be the mat. Okay, and the color I've used here, so that's the Something Fancy Dies is Old Olive, which is one of the colors in the paper. So now I'm introducing a second piece of paper. I'm still gonna use the um, Rich Razzleberry um, for the mat, and I'm still gonna do my card base the same way, because this is just a great little design. And I'm still gonna, I'm gonna use my bone folder to fold this in half, I didn't mention that last time. But if you're brand new, use your finger. Um, you can even use the edge of a scissor, just watch that you don't get any black marks or anything on there. I'd probably use my fingernail before I use the scissor. Okay, so now I'm gonna do something fun to this. So this, this is how we did the last one, like this. And, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I think I can bring my machine in here. I'm going, I'm gonna try. I don't always bring my machine in here because it's a little itty bitty space. Let me just get rid of these. And, but I think sometimes you gotta see it, right? So this is stepping this up a notch. Let me just move all the stuff out of the way. Okay, so this is the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. And this is the large one, not the small one. Um, because I'm using a folder that requires the large one. So this is the cane weave embossing folder, also from the mini catalog. Looks like this, which doesn't mean anything until you see it embossed. And now I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to stick it in here like this. And now what you want to notice with the Stampin' Up! folders is where it's got this Stampin' Up! logo, that's going to be the front of the design. So I'm going to put my paper because this matters this time. It's not just a plain piece of cardstock in here. There's a nice little line across here that allows me to line that up. Um, and again, some patterns don't matter, but this one does have kind of an up and down straight pattern. So I'm gonna use that. The sandwich, like if you're brand new, you're going, oh, I have no idea what this is. This is fancy stuff now. <laughs> um, so sandwich is how we put this together. So it tells you on the platform, you don't have to remember, but I'll just tell you now what this one is. It's one. And then it's the folder and the paper and then plate four for embossing. Okay, and this all comes with your machine. Not the, the folder, but all the plates and everything you need. It just goes through the machine. I'm just going to move it over so you can see it coming out the other side. And then I'm going to move this off here. And all this. Sorry for all the click and banging. Now have a look at that. I'm hoping you can see that. Let me grab, let me see if I can find the other one so you can compare. Oh, I, I don't have the same one, but here, you can sort of see now this beautiful texture that's on here as opposed to how it was just plain. It just takes this piece of paper up a notch. It is a gorgeous, a gorgeous. <laughs> so let me put this together. Um, okay, so now when you have a very textured piece of paper, sometimes it's hard to put tape on here. So sometimes I'll put it on this layer instead. And just going in a little bit, remember we've got a quarter of an inch um, extra, so an eighth on either side. And then I'm going to line this up. And I'm going to check your comments in a second. I'm on a roll here, so I, <laughs> I don't want to stop. Um, like this. Okay, and then we're going to add the this to the front of the card. That's probably a more realistic amount of tape. Make sure the card is opening the right way. Oh, I, I did it crooked. How did I do that? Okay, let's just fix that up a little bit here. That's better. Straight now. Okay, and this one here. So pretty. Okay, then I'm going to add this to this. So I'm introducing that extra color here instead of one. Um, again, when people start out, I recommend that you just buy one ink pad and one um, 
and matching paper because then you automatically have a match point like we did with this one. We've got the rich Razzleberry and the rich um, Razzleberry paper. Um, but here I'm introducing another color. The other thing too, I don't know if you noticed with my blocks, but I use block D. If you had to pick one block, that's the block size I'd pick. It's the one I use probably the most. Okay, so I'm gonna put dimensionals on here. And um, I'm gonna use a few more here because this is a bit of a bigger piece. And like I said, I will have a look at your questions or comments in a second. So I gotta figure out where this is gonna go. I think I want those, I want that purple to show, right? So I'm gonna put it there. Okay, and we're totally not done yet. Of course, we've got to add the bling. And I got one more thing. Um, Dan says, um, joining late, this is lovely. Gloria says, how do I become a demonstrator? I will totally tell you, um, Gloria. I will uh, pop in some information in there. Uh, Villa says, I love embossing folders. Margaret says, love it with that embossing folder. This embossing folder is on my list to get it. Uh, Rita says, yeah, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is uh, old olive ribbon because, of course, we want it to match. Matchy matchy is good. I'm going to tie a bow. Now, if you um, do not know how to tie a bow, then don't tie one. Just do a little knot instead. Um, or you can just keep practicing. And all I do is a little loop, a little loop around my finger, and then poke that through. And I tie kind of a messy bow to start, and then I start pulling on it. So I get, I'm hoping I should have gone up higher, sorry. So you can see that. Then you get to see my Valentine's nails too while I'm here. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to get my scissors here and just trim this off. And then I'm going to also add in another thing. So it's all about the adhesives, right? Um, those of you who are pros at this, um, using the correct adhesive always makes a difference. When you're starting out, I would just get the seal and that's it. Um, so I like to grab these with, you could just use your fingers, but I'm using this take a pick tool, which has on the other end, this little shovel. Um, where'd it go? Where did it go? I'm going to find that later on my shoe. So I'm just going to add one, two glue dots here. Put my lid back on, and then I'm going to stick the bow right there with the glue dots. Okay. And then the bling, of course. So as soon as I have my take a pick tool out here, I will use it. And I'm gonna go for a bigger, bigger rhinestone this time. Um, you notice how I, there was a little dot there of ink. I just covered it right up. <laughs> no mistakes in stamping. Um, okay, by the way, if you're one of the people that this drives crazy, I'm sorry. Um, I, I end up picking things from all over. I know a lot of people go right in order, um, but apparently I missed that gene. So, um, okay, so I'm gonna do that. And we're almost done, but not quite. We're going to add one more thing to it. And that is Wink of Stella. So if I had to pick a second embellishment to add um, over rhinestones, it would be this. It is a glitter pen and it just comes out. I know it will be hard to see until I hold it up, but I'm just adding a little bit of glitter to all of the flowers. It's super quick. Again, the camera may not perfectly pick it up, but let me just pull this up and kind of... Um, rotate it hopefully you can catch some of the glitter there um, but there is the card isn't that pretty now i'm going to do one more thing and i'm just going to grab that paper okay so here is a piece of that it's actually half which is six by six right because it was a 12 by or not six six by 12 because it was a six by a 12 by 12 if that makes sense and then i'm going to grab an envelope so here's um, some Stampin' Up! envelopes, comes in a package of 40. They're basic white, they're nice envelopes, nice and smooth. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna show you all the cards at the end too, um, along with my alternates, and I'll show you where I got all this stuff. And I'll move some crap out of the way so you can see it here. So, okay, this is six by six, so, or six inches wide, but the envelope is not quite that wide. So I'm just gonna stick this right on here. And the reason I didn't cut this ahead of time is because I don't want to waste a single piece of this paper. So if I cut it right on here, then I have all this paper left. So I'm just going to trim this around. Now I am making myself a custom envelope to match my card. How fun is that? All out of the same paper. It shouldn't cost me anything, right? Free with a $60 order. How pretty is that?
Okay, so let me show you all the parts. Okay, so here's our fancy stepped up one with our, oh, I just lost the rhinestone, um, with our matching envelope. And here's our sort of middle one where you need to have a few extra things because I use the punch and the rhinestones and the extra cardstock. And then here is my um, beginner kind of basic card with the note cards. And of course it has a matching envelope, which we could have decorated that as well. Oops, here's my dies. Um, so there's that one too. Okay, so let me show you if it's not on your show, it's with your missing die. Oh, Villa, my die is still missing too. I know it's here somewhere. Um, uh, okay, so let me show you another paper. This paper here is from the annual catalog. It is called A Wash with Beauty. So I did the exact same thing to it because, oh, by the way, I gotta show you this. See this? I store these in this big plastic bag and that my friends, is bite marks from my crazy cat who likes to bite plastic. <laughs> um, so here's this beautiful paper, same idea. So I cut it basically down the middle, left a little tiny strip because there's some nice pink paper on the back. And then I made these. So let me just move these aside so you can see these ones. Where is my little one here? So here's the basic one. I did add rhinestones on this one. So beautiful. And then there's the middle one. So this one I used Mossy Meadow because that was the green that was in here. Same punch, same, same. Um, everything's the same. And the same with this one. Um, this one I picked up the polish pink that was in here. Added different gems. These are my favorite um, gems called Elegant Faceted Gems and picked up the pink ribbon. And hopefully you can see the Wink of Stella on there. Um, and I have, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this too. So let me just show you the two step up versions here. So here's the same thing again. Actually, it's even the same piece of paper, I realize, and two different sayings out of that set. So I use just a note and happy birthday. Um, okay, so let me just show you quickly where I found, where I got all that stuff from, so you can see. Um, so celebration, there's the dainty flowers paper again, free with a $60 order. It does coordinate with Daisy delight bundle, which is in the main catalog, um, from this book, which is the mini catalog. And if you don't have these books, just let me know. I'm happy to um, get you those as long as you're Canadian. Uh, this is the something fancy dies. It's on page 17 of the mini catalog. There is a stamp set that matches all those things and you can get it as a bundle for 10% off. I only got the dies just because I love the dies and I have um, some other sayings that I thought would work with those. Okay. And then the other book here. This is the annual catalog, which is still good until April. And I used the go to greetings, which is on page 26. So that's a set of four greetings, um, three different fonts and three different sizes. The note cards and envelopes are here on page 137. Um, they are 975. You can get them in vanilla or white 20 cards and 20 envelopes. This is the wash with beauty paper on page 131. So that's this one. Uh, what else did I mark here to show you? Ah, the ribbon that I used the, on the green. So this ribbon here is the Old Olive and Sahara tw Sand Twill Combo Pack on page 145 of the annual catalog. And last but not least, there's the punch Label Me Fancy on page 153 of the annual catalog. Okay, so let me just lay out all these prettinesses again. <laughs> and uh, I'll just check and see if you have any other questions. And of course, if you're watching after the fact and you've got a question, I will, let me just pop this like this, then I will make sure to get back to you. Um, Villa says they're all very pretty. Thank you very much, Villa. Um, one almost retired teacher. <laughs> Awesome that you're almost retired. Um, I love that paper allows you to do this. Stamp that paper has really changed over the years. Yeah, it's so pretty. There are a few papers that do that kind of idea. Um, Janice says she likes the embossing folder behind. And is there a chance this DSP will eventually in the annual catalog? No. Um, celebration, that's a great question, Janice. Celebration stuff are exclusive to this promotion. They never show up in the catalogs. So um, they will not be there. And um, same even with paper that is already in the annual catalog, rarely does it move on to another catalog. Um, 
let's see. Oh yeah, Villa, that's funny. Uh, and Rita says that unboxing folder is on my list. Yes, so that is this one here, the cane weave. Very pretty. Okay, Margaret says she loves it with that folder. And I think I got all the other comments. Gloria, I will get back to you and let you know that answer. I would be happy to help you with there, that. So that's all I have for you guys today. So make sure you comment um, on this video, um, share it. I would be appreciative if you did that. And what I'll do is I'll do a draw next week and I'll do it for the fanciest version of this card, okay? Um, and I'll give that away. So that's all I have for today. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. Um, have fun doing whatever you want to do. I'm crafting all weekend. My, my husband is busy with stuff and I'm like, I'm having a total crafting weekend all weekend long. So um, I will look forward to showing you some of the things that I've made. So thanks again for watching me and take care everyone. Bye-bye now.